Hi, welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be giving you a demo on Nice Lock, which is an alternative to Good Lock. Uh, Good Lock is only available for phones from America or Samsung phones running One UI from America. Um, everybody else around the world would have to use Nice Lock. Um, nice Lock is available from XTA or XTA.com. Um, when you download NiceLock, you would have to download the companion app as well, which is also available on the site. So let me show you NiceLock. Okay, so that's NiceLock. As you can see, there's an update for a few apps. Um, yeah, so in order for you to download the individual apps within NiceLock, you need the companion app. I'll show you that just now. So it's starting with the top one, Multistar. So Multistar is just another way or they made it easier for you to do split screen apps or dual apps at the same time on one screen. So I've got it on. So, so what they say is uh, you keep in the recent app button and then it allows you to choose what app you want. So I will do say YouTube. Um, anyway, yeah, YouTube and say so YouTube music. It's a weird combination, but yeah. So yeah, so there you got YouTube music with YouTube. Just to get out of it, you just swipe all the way to the top or the bottom, whichever app you want to stay. Um, the next one, this is the free version that I'm using. There is a paid version without ads, um, but I'm using the free version. Um, Lockstar allows you to customize your lock screen. So I'll just go in there. So you get to move things around. Um, set wallpaper, change your clock faces, and then items to add like uh, help text, status bar, shortcuts. And you can remove everything if you want your home screen to be clean. Then we've got Task Stranger, which is one of my favorite. Um, so basically, you'll minimize steps. I've got it like this. Let's go back. Change the way it looks, stack. Um, grid view. And I'll leave it on list, right list. You can add blur to your background when you bring up your recent apps. Yeah. Clock face. It's basically the same as um, Lockstar, um, but with this one you can customize your lock screen and your always on display. Um, clock face. Yeah. Then we've got Navstar. Navstar basically allows you to customize your navigation bar. You can add more things in, you can customize it as well, add as, well I'm not sure as much as you want, but that's just the background, layout, add buttons, anyway, and then also choose your icons. with the normal one. Uh, quick start, also one of my favorites, so I'll just do that one quickly. Um, this is the current one that I've got on. So it allows you to change your navigation, your notification bar. You can see there, I'll make that yellow. Just an example, go black, let's make it white. 
Let me go. It allows you to change your, naviga your notification bar. Sorry for that. Um, you know, you've got your clock positions. You can hide it, you can have it on the right. Uh, notification pop up. So, just an example, let's use WhatsApp. So, I'll bring it to the right. And then we'll see there's an added button. Click that, and it will be pop up here, which is nice. Um, quick start, quick start routines. It's basically the same as Bixby routines. Um, normally, just leave it on Bixby routines. Edge lighting is the same as the edge lighting within the settings of uh, One UI. One handed mode. Yeah, so this is if you're using gestures, then you can set it up if you want to use one hand and gestures. Um, one hand operation, edge touch. The same thing, it's just uh, it makes it easier for you. It sets up dead zone so that uh, you don't accidentally touch certain parts of your screen so you can like adjust it like that so that when you've got the phone in your hand uh, you don't accidentally touch on the screen or apps on the screen. Um, nice catch, it, it catches all your notifications and it puts it in a nice window so that um, all your notifications for the day so that you don't miss anything. Um, messages, missed calls or phone calls and so on. Um, nice shot, uh, screen recording and screenshot. Um, it allows you to choose your format. Um, you can choose whether or not to hide the nav navigation buttons and notification bar. And you can add a tag or a shortcut on your screen to automatically just activate screen record or take a screenshot of you can in screen. Um, theme park. Also a good one to have. Let's just go in. This current theme. So that's the setup that I've got at the moment. So you can choose your color. So you'll see your background changes. You've got style. So you keep it in. You've got background color. Let's make that black. One background color, let's make that white. So like that. Um, surface color, bring that to the side, blue. Um, what's the next one? Uh, let's make that red, oh, orange, red. Yeah, so let's just go back and as you can see, the, the changes that I've made. Yeah, so that's just a quick uh, demo of nice luck if you've got any questions please leave them in the comments um, i'll answer them for you i'll also like i said leave a link in the description for nice lock and the companion app um, let me just show you the companion app so that's a companion app and basically if there's an update or yeah, as you can see there, it's an update for Multistar and we'll just click on the direct download and it will download the app and add it to NiceLock. There's more, there are a few, a few that I didn't download. Um, File Guardian, Battery Tracker, Battery Guardian and App Booster. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Hit ring the bell icon for more notifications so that you can be updated when there's new videos. Um, and thank you.